here let us expand using the identity a minus b the whole square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab. So let us consider now 3x minus 4y the whole square. Now here 3x is a, 4y is b. So therefore we have 3x the whole square plus 4y the whole square minus 2 into 3x into 4y. 3x the whole square is 9x square because 3 into 3 is 9, x into x is x square plus 4 into 4 is 16, y into y is y square minus 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 4 is 24xy. So therefore, the expansion of 3x minus 4 by the whole square is 9x square plus 16y square minus 24xy. Now let us consider another one which is root 3x minus 5y the whole square. Now this is nothing but root 3x the whole square plus 5y the whole square minus 2 into root 3x into 5y. Now we have root 3x the whole square is root 3 into root 3 is 3, x into x is x square plus 5 into 5 is 25, y into y is y square minus 2 into root 3 is 2 root 3, 2 root 3 into 5 is 10 root 3, x into y is xy. So we have the expansion of root 3x minus 5y the whole square is equal to 3x square plus 25y square minus 10 root 3xy. Now let us consider another one which is 2x minus 1 by 3x. Yes, it is a fraction here. So that doesn't change anything about the way we use the formula a minus b the whole square. Because here a is 2x and b is 1 by 3x. So we have 2x the whole square plus 1 by 3x the whole square minus 2 into 2x into 1 by 3x. So we have here 2x the whole square is 4x square plus 1 by 3x the whole square is 1 by 9x square minus 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 1 is 4. We write the 3 as it is because it is only multiplied by 1 and x and x get cancelled. So the expansion of 2x minus 1 by 3x the whole square is 4x square plus 1 by 9x square minus 4 by 3.